Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your iPad Mini 3 for the first time. So let's uh, switch it on. There's a power button at the top here. You can press on it to switch it on. Then we're going to choose English. Next, we're going to tap on your country or region. So in my case, I'm going to choose Australia. And we're just going to wait for the phone to set up the language on the device. Next, it's a quick start. You can set up uh, if you have another device such as an iPhone. Uh, in this case, we don't have any, so we're going to do it manually. So set up manually. Then in here, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So we're going to connect to your Wi-Fi and we're going to put in the Wi-Fi password. So I just put in my Wi-Fi uh, wi password. Then tap on the join button. So now it's going to try to activate the iPad. So if the iPad hasn't been activated before, it will now activate the iPad. We will check against the output server for any iCloud login. Next, we're going to tap on continued. And then at this point, you can uh, set the touch up ID. Uh, the touch up ID allows you to unlock the iPad with a fingerprint. So at the moment, it is uh, scanning my fingerprint by simply just touching on the home button like this and then we can tap on the continue button and then again we continue to tap on the home button so the reader can finish reading our fingerprint we then tap on continued now we can create a passcode so um, we can uh, create whatever passcode is I'm just going to choose 0 I'm going to choose use anyway uh, just to make it easy I'm going to choose 0 and then tap on set up as new iPad. Uh, we store from my backup, iCloud backup. We store from iTunes backup. We're going to choose set up as new iPad. And here it asks us uh, to sign into an Apple ID. So I'm just going to put in the Apple ID. And then we need to put in the password. So put in the Apple ID and then tap on next button at the top here to uh, put in the password. And then once you put in the password, tap on next. At the top here, tap on the next button. And then now it's gonna very I need to verify the the special code that's sent to my device. So I'm gonna put in the code. So put in that code that's sent to your second device. This is when your account have a two-step verification turn on. Then tap on the agree button at the bottom here. And then it says it will take a few minutes. So we wait. Okay, on this uh, next screen here, you say express settings. So we can choose to continue. Uh, you can customize settings. So just to make it quick, we're just going to tap on the continue button. And then we're just going to wait. So the iP this is an iPad 3. Now we are in 2020. So we still can use it. So I'm just going to uh, continue. It's a, um, a set up Apple Pay. So actually, I'm just going to set up later in settings. Choose set up later in settings if you're not willing to uh, set up Apple Pay at the moment. Then, uh, it said that you want to use the iCloud keychain. This is to keep the password and credit card information. I'm just going to skip for now, so I'm going to choose don't use iCloud keychain. And then, do you want to share with Apple all the data or not? So I'm going to choose don't share. Then tap on continued. And tap on continued. This is just some information. And then tap on get started. So now we have successfully um, gone to the home screen of an iPad mini 3. So this is iPad mini 3. So after you have uh, successfully um, set up your iPad, you can now uh, use it how you want it. Um, the next thing you probably want to do is you uh, go into App Store. So I'm just going to um, turn on the screen brightness because at the moment it's a bit uh, dark. 
So we can swipe up to go into uh, the screen. So you can see here when I try to swipe up on the iPad mini, it comes up on the side here at uh, the menu. And we're going to go into uh, settings. So first up, let's go into settings. And then we go down and go into iTunes and App Store. And then make sure your Apple ID already signed in. Once it is signed in, we're going to tap on App Store. And this is how you can install apps after uh, setting up your device. And then tap on Continued and then Search. So, say so you want to ask the location, you can choose Allow Location or not, that's up to you. And I'm going to tap on the Search button. And then in here, you can uh, start to download an apps that you want to use. For example, YouTube. If you want to watch YouTube videos, you can tap on YouTube, so YouTube Kids. And here, it's going to try to locate the YouTube apps. And then I'm going to tap on the Down button, the Download button. That will allow you to download apps onto your screen. So now it is currently trying to uh, download in the store. As you can see, it's a waiting. So just wait for that to finish. Now while it's download downloading that first app, you can continue to uh, download any other apps that you want to use. Uh, for example, let's say I want to download this app here as well. Uh, use Session. So you can tap on that. And then we can tap on Get. And then we can install it. And then tap on the touch ID. So I'm just going to tap on the touch ID to verify the download. So now it's downloading. And here we've got um, Simply Piano by Joy. So we can also, if you want, you can download that as well. So I'm just going to tap on this button here, tap and hold. And that will install. And so, yeah, so after that, we can. Uh, just uh, simply wait. So that's how you can install apps uh, after. So that's how you can install apps after you have uh, successfully uh, set up your iPad. You can also set up emails. So to, you know to set up emails, you need to go to settings. Then on the side here, you can tap on mail. And then um, actually, it's in this mail is only settings for the mail app. If you want to set up account, you need to go into. Uh, accounts you can add in uh, account in here as well so in account we add tap on add account and here you can add like iCloud account exchange Google Yahoo IOL Outlook so or you can even just tap on add other and then tap on add mail account so this allows you to manually add in the email account. If uh, say if you've got an email account from a uh, specific web server.